Now, you know what we do. We usually get things started off and start breaking the fights down straight out of the gate. But before I get started today, what I want to do is kind of give you a scenario of what happened with the Manny Pacquiao and the Adrian Broner fight. But before I get started, I'd like to introduce myself before those who have never watched this channel. Shame on you. My name is Eric A. Bradley, a.k.a. The Real Fight Doctor. And there is no other on this level. Back to the topic at hand. Manny Pacquiao, let me explain to you something. Understand certain things. What we call in fights is called rhythms. When a fighter is coming out, they have their mind made up what they're willing to go through. Manny Pacquiao with the experience that he's been in there for real against people like Manuel Marquez. Manuel is one of the most violent counterpunchers in the game. What Adrian Broner lacked tonight was the ability and the willingness to go fisticuffs, meaning exchange, but still be defensively responsible. He does not have that ability. He's a pure pot shotter. Pot shotter is a person that throws pop, pop, every once in a pop. And he's safe with that because he can defend against any return because he's only throwing one shot. The difference with that is, is you must, as I teach my guys, and I'm a real coach, and I've walked the aisle in many, many occasions for many, many different type titles, including the green belt. So I'm not just a talking head. I'm really here to break down. And if you don't understand it, go to the channel and you can really see it front and center. Now back to Adrian Broner. One of the things that this young man's missing out of his game, he's not missing heart. He's missing the understanding, the rhythmic development that you need. Let me demonstrate it to you because I'm not about that talk. I'm about that life. Whenever you're in a match and your objective is to, you can throw that. That's what you call a jab, a solid jab, right? All right, off that jab, you got to know how to throw advanced punches off of that. That's called hooking off the jab. The next thing is you got to be able to do inside of a fight, not a pair of mitts, is to throw a combination. So pop, pop, pop. Now, you will notice one thing. When I'm throwing my power shot, stiff one shot is stiff. Pop. That's one. Okay, but in order to throw two, I got to pull a little bit off of this one so I can get this one. Now, if I'm throwing three, I got to go wow, wow. Wow. So there's a rhythm that I have to change. And when I take it to the next level and start throwing four, bah, 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 my body can't do, you know, I have to contour to what I'm about to do. So I can't put the mustard on the first one. I got to flow the first one, the second one, third one, and wow, wow, fourth and fifth. These are the things inside of a fight that guys like Adrian Broner need to understand how to do. So there are drills that I teach my fighters. One of them is called the Ray Robinsons. It's change up speed. You have to walk through your punch rhythms. So in a fight, now check this out, because you know when you see this you'll understand there are different things that are happening in a fight. Manny Pacquiao, what he does is it doesn't look like much on video, but one thing that you're not clear on is if that's happening to you, imagine someone doing this to your eyes. Exactly. You can't see a thing. Take one second and just do like this. That's what's happening when you see a guy do this. Manny Pacquiao, he has great rhythmic flow. Those are rhythms that you throw and uh, unleash inside of a fight. And it's blinding to the guy. So you'll see the guy, he'll go into a crouch and then you can throw Whop, a body shot, whop, uppercut or a hook to end it with power. We call that change up speed. One of the guys noted for that was Sugar Ray Robinson. So Adrian Broner broke conditioning. He brought accuracy, but he didn't have the offensive prowess to beat a guy at the level that Manny Pacquiao has been because he's been in the ring with so many different levels of guys. Um, you got guys in Barrera. Marquez, Floyd, 
He's been in the ring, ring with Shane Mosley, Antonio Margarita, Miguel Cotto. All of those guys got different rhythms, so he adopted a lot of those things from being in the ring with him. So Adrian Broner was just out of his league, just like most of you called it before the fight. You just didn't understand in depth why. That's what the fight doctor does. Over here at Master Boxing, we break the fight world down, round by round. And so when you see the fight, it was clearly the first three rounds, Pacquiao was figuring it out because Adrian was sharp. But once he figured out that Adrian's only going to throw one at the most two punches a round, Oh my gosh, Sugar Ray Leonard was commentating along with Brian Kenny, Demetrius Andre's fight last night on the zone. And the first thing he said is, in these fights, you got to throw four, fives, and sixes. You can't get away with throwing ones and twos anymore. This is not the amateurs and you don't pot shot and bounce. You got to learn how to throw combinations you got to learn how to utilize your footwork so you can have masterful balance once you get to a point where it's, you're you're able to turn your opponent and let your hands go speed bag shadow boxing getting things that we have a drill is called simply utilizing the flow we call the rhythm all right so we let your hands go in our art of sparring lessons we show you specifically how to do it First, I tell you, then I demonstrate it, and then you go through it and watch your video and execute it, and that's one of the things that ingrains it. It shows you how to go step by step, and um, teaching and explaining it in the corner like you heard Cunningham telling Adrian Broner. He really set him up for failure because he had him thinking, hey, maybe you're winning these rounds, but he knew that he wasn't throwing enough punches. He doubled him in punches. That's what great Manny Pacquiao style, his ability, he has the conditioning and all of the things that are necessary to win at the highest level. That's why he's a first ballot Hall of Famer. And Adrian Broner, Broner is still a question mark, okay? But we know that they're A-plus level fighters, and then there's everybody else. And guys like Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather Jr., Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, Jack Dempsey, Rocky Marciano, Jack Johnson. Hey, I call it as I see it, man. These guys are the creme de la creme of the game. So, and for you who don't understand, and this shirt right here, this is Henry Armstrong, one of the greatest. Three of these right here. This guy is one of the hallmarks of the boxing world. And these, they have a foundation, the Henry Armstrong Foundation. His grandson is an amazing young man. Um, and they are selling these shirts. So I'm gonna put the link in the description. They support them. This fabric is amazing and it looks great. It's a lot of light on me right now, so it's a reflection. But when you see this shirt, go out there and support. This is what we're doing. We're making sure that we ingraining everybody and giving you awareness in the boxing world. And you as great fans, you know, we want to hear your words. What did you think about the fight? What do you think about the history of boxing? Are you a true follower of boxing? Are you a casual fan? Are you die hard? Or are you in the fight game? I want to hear from you guys down there in the comment box once we get done with this post. And be sure to go out to the website and support them. They're like 50 bucks. They could sell them for 150. Once you put it on, you see it, you'll understand. You got the patch on, you'll be a part of boxing history. That's all I got for right now. My name is Coach Eric A. Bradley, and I thank you guys for watching. This is Master Boxing. We break the fight world down, baby, round by round. And if you need insight on the real boxing, if you're an MMA fighter, if you're a boxing coach, holler at me. Make sure you go and visit the site. We got some amazing things for you. Until the next time when I cover Keith Thurman against Jose Cito Lopez next week, we out of here. Be blessed at God's speed. Follow us across the board and subscribe to the channel. Peace.